Hi and welcome to this Leverage Technologies presentation of SAP Business One version 9 Purchase Requests. The Purchase Request functionality is new to SAP Business One version 9. So if I click on the Purchasing AP menu, I can see the first item is that Purchase Request. This functionality will allow a user to put through a purchase requisition to the purchasing department for particular items. So as I open the form, I can see that the user and username or request a name, I can see the branch and department that this request is going through for and I have the document dates and of course I can put the required date for the particular items that I want to purchase. Now let's say that I'm going to purchase some IBM printers, some IBM InfoPrint 1312s and I want 20 of those purchased. One of the important buttons that I can click on, I can see send email if PO or goods receipt PO is added. In this instance if I click on that I'll then be able to enter my email address and when the purchase order is placed by the purchasing department or the purchasing manager or when the goods receipt purchase order is added to the system I'll be notified of that. As I click add that purchase request has now been placed in the system. Now let's not forget that with standard SAP functionality I can include workflow. This would mean that if that particular purchase request was outside of my approval limit it would be sent to my manager for approval and work through the standard SAP Business One workflow. Let's assume that that step has already taken place and that my manager has approved my purchase request. The next step in the process would be for the purchasing department to go in into purchasing reports, purchase request report, click on display open item, open requests only and what I can now see in the system is three different purchase requests. They're all dated today but they have different required by dates and they're for different items. Now what the purchasing department can do is click on the create button and automatically from within this report they can create a purchase quotation for the items or a purchase order. And very importantly if there are multiple purchase requests for similar items the purchasing department can consolidate these requests using a purchase quotation so that ultimately I get one consolidated purchase order for multiple requests of one particular item. In this instance Let's simply go in and we'll click on one particular item which is the InfoPrint 1222 and we'll automatically create a purchase order for that item. Of course while that's being created what I could have done as well is I can go on the item and I can right click and get access to additional functionality. So for example what I might do is I might go in onto the item, right click and I can see that I can view the inventory status of the item, the available to promise on the item, alternative items and a last prices report. Very useful information for the purchasing manager. Let's go in now and have a look at the actual purchase order that was created. Let's click on the back arrow and there is my purchase order for 10 IBM printers. So what we've seen is the ability for a user to create a purchase order request with a required date and required quantity, for that to go through workflow as and when required and get approval, and then for the purchasing manager or purchasing department to open up the report and action the report by either creating the purchase order or consolidating multiple requests for one particular item that can obviously be created through a purchase quotation. So very useful functionality inside SAP Business One version 9. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget that there is more information available on our website at www.leveragetech.com.au. Thanks for watching.